Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I got uh, a little something special in store for you guys. I'll be playing um, Rise in the Jungle. Um, and before we get started with all the jungling and all that, um, I just want to talk about a few things that are very important to uh, playing this um, and making this somewhat viable. Um, I don't think Rise is very strong as a jungler, um, but he can clear and that's all you need. Um, so you always want to start blue buff, um, and this is why Rise Jungle is weak, and why you're not going to see me play him in, in Challenger most likely. I'm playing in, I believe the Elo is like high platinum. Um, and yeah, um, for the runes, uh, they're pretty specific. What I would recommend is Phase Rush as always, Nimbus Cloak so you can use your Smite, Transcendence, uh, Water Walking, and then Hex Flash, or Hex Tech Flash Traption. So you can get actual creative gank angles. This actually enables you to gank a lot. And then biscuit delivery, because, um, I mean, you always need mana in the jungle. I would recommend saving this until after you don't have blue buff anymore. And then on first pack, I'm going to go ahead and get a, a Tear of the Goddess. Um, and watch how I clear, guys. It has to be very specific, guys. I'm autoing, I'm autoing, and I'm weaving in autos and ease, making sure I maximize my DPS. And then once the leash has stopped, you can uh, kite this guy around a bit, like this. And then smite this, bam. Okay. Now you're going to start QEQ. Just try to maximize as many auto attacks as you can. Make sure you're weaving in constantly, constantly. And the biggest weakness of Rise Jungle is you're pretty easy to invade. And um, I'll show you guys why once I hit level 3. So current meta is you just want to full clear repeatedly. Uh, Rise's jungle clear is actually really healthy past level 5. Um, but before then it's uh, it's like okay at best I guess. I think I missed some auto attacks. It's okay. Just keep moving and then auto it to last hit. Alright, so you put 3 points in Q, or 2 points in Q at level 3. And then you clear. Look how fast these die. But the thing is, if you get invaded, you're kind of screwed because uh, you don't have W, meaning you can't duel at all, basically. Okay, now we can start doing our red buff. And you should finish around 3.30. Um, the full clear, that is. And after that, you can look for gank angles. Alright, not bad. That at all, just keep autoing. And then if Scuttle's up, we can go for it. If not, whatever, right? I wanna make sure I kill this fully though, before I go. Now, if you're auto field or something, and you really don't wanna dodge, you can whip out the Rise Jungle probably. I'm gonna go ahead and gank here. This looks pretty good. Nice. And as you guys can see, the ganking isn't that bad. I'm gonna go ahead and shove this out a little bit for him. I'm gonna use this, make sure I'm not face checking into anyone here. Um, maybe the scuttle is up. It is. Okay, and as you guys can see, at this point, I'm running pretty oom, so I can pop a biscuit if I really need to. Like, if I'm really oom and I can't cast any abilities, I can. Otherwise, I can just chill. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and check this guy's gromp. Maybe it's up. And is it up? Nope, it's not up. Alright, I think I'll channel my base then. It might respawn soon though. I'm not 100% sure, because I'm not really... Uh... Oh, there it is. This is worth taking, actually. Counter jungling rise, boys. This is the future. And the reason I don't want to really do this in my own ELO challenger is because, more than likely, I'm going to be versus an LCS jungler. And holy shit, you guys, you guys really don't want to look how it feels to play Rise versus an LCS jungler. It is painful. It is extremely painful. Maybe the spawns, maybe it doesn't. Um, I don't really want to stick around that long, so it's fine. And then we'll go ahead and get this. Why is CDR Booth so good? Because it makes your clear even quicker, meaning you can gank even more. And uh, I have Hex Flash now, so I can even look for gank angles on mid and whatnot. So yeah, I'm pretty strong, and I have a camp advantage. Good thing I didn't stick around for wolves. It didn't, it didn't spawn for quite a while. Alright. And then you should have your last biscuit coming in within a minute or so. 
But notice how it's actually not that hard to play Rise. You're basically just playing Rise, but instead of a uh, instead of clearing minions, you're just clearing camps. And once you're level five, your clear is actually pretty damn fast. Like, look at how much e my EQ does. And then once I'm level six, like I just insta clear minions. So if you can actually get to this phase, then Rise Jungle is pretty decent, I'd say. But uh, obviously, the the issue is actually getting there, right? You really don't want to get invaded. If you get invaded, you're kind of screwed. So that's the hard part. Just autoing this. I want to conserve mana a bit. Oh, I also took attack speed, so that will help a lot. Don't take a CDR glyph when you're playing a Rise Jungle, or else you're going to have a bad time. I think I can... Okay, I think I just saw Yi bot side of mid. Saving my mana. Let's see what there is to do around here. Maybe they engage, maybe they don't. Okay, not the worst, not the worst. As you guys can see, I'm pretty damn oom, so I don't really want to stick around bot lane too much. I just want to, I just want to hover so they don't get completely screwed over. And they are gonna see me base. Um, and I recommend more mana. Mana is really important, uh, even more so than. Uh, actually, let's sell this and get dark seal. This could be useful. My sustain is pretty healthy, actually. Believe it or not. That's flash. Oh, you didn't flash away. Okay, scuttle was up. Guy is pretty low. I think I can go for the scuttle. I also want to start ganking more around mid lane. Uh, bot lane is probably the hardest lane to gank, actually. I do want to go ahead and see what I can do here. The hex flash over. And this is why I get hex flash, guys. Nice, wonderful. I'm gonna go ahead and smite this bad boy. W, Q, E, Q, auto, auto, and uh, if you guys know anything about jungling, there's this neat little trick where you can do two buffs at once, and it works on rise as well, so, yeah, bring it over, make sure the patience doesn't do anything wonky, this is fine, hopefully I don't get invaded, I would literally die. I did lose quite the amount of health from that. Quite unfortunate. But I think I'll base anyway soon. Or even if I don't. I can probably heal off Raptors. Because Raptors provide so much healing. Level 7! Alright, now your clear is so quick, man. I'm pretty sure you all outpace champions like freaking Lilia and Udir, Rumble. Like, I'm pretty sure you're, you're clear. Look at that lifesteal! Holy crap. Jeez. My goodness, guys. Rise jungle OP or what? And then you can also use your ultis to set up ganks as well. Pretty useful, I'd say. And just make sure you're always full clearing, guys. You just want to make sure the whole jungle is dead before you even look for a gank, because that is the matter right now. If you're not full clearing, um, you're going to be losing out quite the amount. Then I can probably do a Drake here, because the enemy jungler is dead. Looks like they're fighting over there. Finish this camp up and go kill this guy. Nice. Mm, he should be able to farm that. Then I don't have smite, but I do think I can do something. Oh, he's getting chased pretty hard. Okay, not bad, and I can shove this wave in. The reason I shove this wave in is nobody's gonna miss this. Like, if he doesn't come, it's just gone to the void, just goes to the tower, and I just get a, a free wave for absolutely free. Alright, now I'm going to base. We know Scuttle's going to spawn here. Uh, important to always look at your laners and see what's going on. This Dark Seal is actually giving me a lot of AP here. Very nice. Um, I'm just going to use this Biscuit. I should have probably used it earlier, actually, but um, I could also sold it. It's 5 gold if you sell it. Um, the build does not change, guys. It's just normal build. You get Everfrost and all that. Um, there's going to be a Scuttle spawning here soon, and I'm going to go ahead and see if I can contest this thing. Um, obviously, 
Rise jungle works better if you actually know how to jungle uh, a little bit. I'd say my jungler, my jungling is probably mm, low challenger level. Not the best, not the worst. Okay, I can go ahead and play for this. I can go mid. This guy looks like he's playing extremely aggro. I'm not gonna hex flash here because this guy's literally in front of my face. Okay, so that guy's too low to do anything, so I force him off. What I could do here is I could check his jungle camps if it's up. It shouldn't be. Okay, I can just go back to doing scuttle. Or not scuttle, herald. What is he doing? Okay, if he checked me inappropriately or too aggressively, then I would have just hex flashed and killed him. I really don't want to go mid right now. I just want to get this free herald and then clear down. Then with this Herald, I'm probably going to use it mid, so I can break open the map. Then I have a Smite Charge I'm saving for this Herald. Nice. I'm level 9 now, another Power Spike. I'm doing very well at the moment. Um, they could go for Drake if they want it. It's whatever if they get it. I think Herald is higher value this early. And I just keep clearing. Look how healthy my clear is, guys. Like, how fast is that? It's crazy. And I have ulti to hover any play that I want to. You see the mid. And also, best thing about this is you can also use your... What do you call it? Your Hex Flash. That's my pink one. Uh, not in the best spot. I don't even need the Hex Flash here. I'm just gonna go ahead and... Uh... Okay, not bad. I'll shove this with him. Then we'll summon the Herald. Good chunk on him. Only Master Yi and Yasuo could be here. Just gonna get this gold together. Shove out the next wave, probably. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, we got him. We got him. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, and I have a blue buff. His raptors are spawning. I do kind of want to take these. So let's go ahead and take these raptors. And then his Krugs are probably up too, so. It's very important to make sure that you play for camps, especially the enemies, if you have an opportunity. Right now I have an opportunity. Um, you don't want to just brute force it in int though. But if you can deny the enemy's jungle camps, like you're going to be so ahead of the enemy jungler. Because every time you take one camp, it's not just 100 gold you get. It's 100 gold you deny from the enemy. So that means that's a 200 gold net, or net gold swing. So 200 gold in my favor, essentially, is what it is. Um, I'm still ignoring Drake because since I went for Herald, I use a lot of my tempo, aka the time it takes to do things on the map. Um, on the Herald. So just keep thinking about tempo, and the great thing about Jungle Rise is he has so much tempo once you actually get to your uh, level 6 spike, level 7, level 9, all that. Like Once your Q starts packing a punch, like, you're so broken in terms of how much tempo you can get by just clearing your jungle camps. Like, you're so fast. Jesus Christ, my Lee Sin just did the... Did the freaking thing for me, man. He did the Drake for me. Anyways, we're gonna clear up this time, because uh, there's no Drake to play for, and jungle camps are also spawning in this direction. I could hover them. I think I'll start hovering them. Uh, they're fine, actually. I'm just gonna keep... Oh, no, they're not fine. There's a Darius now. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... Shove this wave out. Like I said, no one's gonna miss this wave just because I shove it. People are dead. Enemy camps are up. Enemy camps are not up. I'm gonna just get this mid tower. And do I recommend Magi's? Uh, unless you're extremely ahead, like me, like I have a 1k shutdown on my head, uh, I would not recommend Magi's. Let's see my AP. 245, not bad, not bad. But generally, everything's the same. You're just jungling instead of battling creeps. It's not that hard. Just have to, uh... Not get invaded early. If you get invaded in your first three levels, you're screwed. 
but after level 4, it's just smooth sailing from there, because you clear so quickly. I'm go ahead and get a ward in here. See what else there is to do. And like I said, guys, every time I take a camp, it's a 200 gold net swing. So, I've taken two camps right now, while this E is dead. That's 400 gold, essentially, that swung my way. Mm, what is there to do? Not much other than uh, just look for plays. Hopefully I can get to that cannon. At the very least get the EXP for the cannon. It's just standard rise stuff. Man. Go ahead and beat people up. Not bad, not bad. There's a tower we can work with here mid. This game is pretty accelerated, so... Not bad, not bad. Let's get this bot tower. The one thing to note about Jungle Rise is you scale considerably weaker than just normal Rise, because I am going Hex Flash and Biscuits rather than Domination. And domination is really OP scaling. So yeah, keep in mind that you're not going to heal as much. But you heal so much from uh, jungle camps, because the jungle item has Omnivamp built in. Nice, not bad. We can take this uh, mid wave again. Mm, don't really need that scuttle. I might just ult out of base for tempo, honestly. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm gonna look Raptor, Scuttle, Blue Buff, and then I wanna Siege Mid. So always have a plan when you're exiting the base, guys, if you happen to be playing. Well, I mean, even if you're not playing jungle, like, always have a plan for what you're gonna do in the game. It's extremely easy. Hey man, what the fuck? Come on, bro. The fuck, man? It's fucked up. Oh, wow. Okay. That was interesting. Yeah, I have a lot of AP. 500 because Yumi's on me. And then once I get my Archangel Spike. Even more. We'll even reach it this game. I don't know. Alright, 600 AP. Look how fast I am with that Nimbus cloak, guys. It's pretty nuts. Make sure we get that CS per minute up, guys. GG. Um, but yeah, Rise is somewhat viable in the jungle if you can just get rolling. Uh, makes you have to ward red so you don't get invaded, and you know that if you get invaded, that you don't get completely screwed over. You know. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I shall see you in the next one, guys. Thanks all very much for watching. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.